Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over this famous SQL interview question. So here's the question. Print all numbers from 1 to 100. So we're just going to print numbers from 1 to 100. And if the number is divisible by 3, we're going to replace it with fizz. And if it's divisible by 5, we're going to replace it with bus instead. And when the number is divisible by both 3 and 5, we're, we're just going to replace it with fizz buzz. So for example, 3, 6, 9, we'll just replace it with fizz. And if it's 5, 10, 15, we're going to replace it with buzz. But let's say if a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, so let's say 15, we're going to replace it with fizz buzz. So I'm going to go to my management studio. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to declare a variable. So declare at, and I'm going to call it counter, and it's of type int, and I'm going to set it to 1. And then I'm going to write a while loop. So I'm going to say while at counter is less than equal to 100, begin and end. And here I'm going to write some code here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm simply going to print all the numbers. So I'm just going to do print at counter. So it's simply going to print numbers from 1 to 100. But if I execute it now, it's going to run forever because it's always going to be true. It's always since our counter is 1 and it's less than 100 is always going to be true. So it's going to run forever. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment it after every print. So I'm going to say set at counter equals at counter plus 1. Let me execute it now. So this is going to print numbers from 1 to 100. So let's scroll down. So we have all the numbers from 1 to 100. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check if the number is divisible by 3 and I'm going to replace it with this. So to check if the number is divisible by 3, I'm going to write an if statement here. So I'm going to check if at counter, which is my number, modulus, which is the percentage sign, 3 equals 0. I'm going to print this. Else, I'm just going to print the counter. So here what I'm trying to do is if the number modulus 3 is going to tell me if the number is divisible by 3 or not. So modulus gives you the remainder of something when you divide it by number. So if the number is divisible by 3, there is no remainder. So it's going to be 0. So here I'm just checking if the number is divisible by 3. I'm going to print this. Else I'm just going to print the number. And after that I'm just going to set the counter to 1 as is. So let me execute it now. So see, all of the numbers that are divisible by 3 are now replaced by fizz. So 3 here, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for 5. I'm going to check for 5. So I'm going to write another if statement. And now I'm going to check if the number is divisible by 5. And if it is, we are going to replace it with buzz. So I'm going to do buzz instead. And I'm just going to do else if. Else if our number is divisible by 5, I'm going to return buzz. So let's execute now. So 3 has been replaced with this and now 5. So in here, we have replaced 5 with buzz. And then the same thing, 9 will be replaced with this since it's divisible by 3. And then 10 will be replaced with buzz. And now we have to take care of the final condition here, which checks if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5. For example, 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5. And then if it is, we are going to replace it with FISBUS. So to do that, what I'm going to do here is I am going to write another if else condition. And here I'm going to check if the number is divisible by 3 and the number is also divisible by 5. If it is, I'm going to replace it with fizzbuzz. Let me put the zero here. I forgot that here. So let me execute it now. So we see the, the 15 is still not replaced with fizzbuzz here. It's still saying fizz. That's because in the if else statement, if the first condition is true, for example, here, it, it is divisible by 3. So it's going to stop. It's not going to check all of these statements. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this condition first, because that's our main condition. If a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, 
we are just going to replace it with fist bus. So I'm going to start with that here instead. So I'm going to do F and I am just going to take it out here. So I'm going to put it here instead. So here I'm checking if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5. Re replace it with fist bus. Okay, so I have my first condition here which is going to check if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 and it's going to return fizzbuzz and then I'm checking if it's divisible by 3 then just print fizz and if it's divisible by 5 print buzz but we have an issue here I have to put an else here otherwise what's going to happen is going to go to both and check both which we do not want for example 15 is satisfied by this condition because it's divisible by both 3 and 5 so it's going to print fizz buzz and it's also going to return fizz. So we don't want that. So just going to put else if here and let me execute it now. So our three has been replaced with fizz. Five has been replaced with buzz because it's divisible by five. Then six again, since it's divisible by three is replaced with fizz. And then here 15, since it's divisible by both three and five, it's replaced with fizz buzz. And let me scroll down to check a few more. So here, 45, since it's divisible by both 3 and 5, is replaced with FizzBuzz. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching.